Turning to some other news tonight, a local college student is fighting for his life after being shot near campus late last week in what police say is a random attack. 26 year old Monir Damra was shot in the neck while riding in a car in Glen Carbon. News 4's Caroline Hecker spoke with some of his friends who say they're just lost without him. The spring semester will not be the same for the friends of Monir Damra, who was studying nursing, was an army cadet, and had dreams of becoming an army nurse here at SIUE. All of that put on hold after falling victim to what police say was a random act of gun violence on his way back to school. Damra's friends say he had just been picked up from the airport, headed back to campus when he was struck by a bullet on the ramp from Illinois Route 157 to I-270. The driver of the car was able to get back to campus and call 911 as paramedics worked to keep Damra alive. I think initially I was shocked that like someone with such a just beautiful like soul could have been injured in the way that he was injured. Friends say Damra is a 4.0 nursing student, an army cadet, and an even better friend. He's a big encourager, motivator, and letting everyone know that they have the ability to get through anything. They say he speaks from experience, having lost 200 pounds before making the life-changing decision to enroll at SIUE and contract as an army cadet. He's always studying. If he's not doing, if he's not doing army stuff, he's doing nursing stuff. And making sure that he is on top of what he's doing. His compassion for others and selflessness makes the tragedy incomprehensible for those who know him best. Such a motivated and hardworking and for that to just come to a, a stop suddenly for no, no good reason. Now they're hopeful that fighting spirit they know so well translates into a recovery. Monier's friends here at SIUE in the Cadet Club have put together a GoFundMe page that will help his family with any medical costs and any care that he may need down the line. That information can be found on our website, KMOV.com. Police have arrested and charged two teenagers in connection with the shooting. However, the motive remains unknown. In Edwardsville, Caroline Hecker, News 4.